hey there oh my goodness so much rain today this is absolutely crazy i cannot believe like i come from virginia where it does rain a ton in virginia we get i don't know 40 something inches tons of tons of rain and then coming here to northern california and we are getting hit right now with um i think it's like one of those atmospheric rivers or something so just wild amounts of rain of course i just went to the garden center last week and i got like those violas and the ranunculus they're doing okay in it um the ranunculus i'm gonna i'm gonna go out in the garden in a, in a little bit but i wanted to hop in here because I just went and got a coffee and I started doing a little bit of garden planning. I also went through all of my seeds this morning and really pulled out like all like just went through every single one of my seeds, pulled out the seeds that I want to start. I'm going to do a whole another crop of seeds inside under grow lights. So I don't know if you saw the video, I, I kind of decided to start some seeds outside. Um, I had like the, the trays of seeds. I had them inside and then I had them outside for a little bit and then we got all this rain and I, I think they're okay but I'm a little worried that some of the seedlings got washed out and it just sometimes the haps, ha haphazard seed starting really works but sometimes it doesn't and so I, I just I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with all those seeds. I feel like this, I wasn't really prepared for this much rain when I put them outside under that little, um, uh, under the little cover. And so they've gotten a lot of rain. Now I did take them out of their seed trays. So they, they aren't like getting flooded, which was good, but I, I think this might've done them in. I should have brought them in last night. And I just, it slipped my mind. And so that's okay. I pull out a bunch of seeds. I'm going to do bunch more seeds starting starting a lot restarting some of the things that I started in that last um, batch and then I'm actually gonna add some more things and I think I am gonna start some more flowers so I know I've been saying that I really wasn't gonna do um, a lot of started flowers inside but you know what I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that but what's really exciting and, and fun is that I, I think I've got my garden plan set out and I think I know what raised beds I'm going to do. So I have been going back and forth and just really having a hard time deciding like what raised beds to do. Sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it's not obvious like what the best plan should be. But after thinking about it and thinking about it, um, I decided I'm gonna do two big troughs. So two of the two by six troughs, like trough planters. I've gotta see if I can fit them in the car. I may have to like take the car seats out. I'm actually in my husband's car today, but I may have to take the car seats out and like try to put those in there. And then I'm also gonna try two two by four um, grow bag raised beds because like, I just kinda wanna test out how that works. I do actually like growing some things in grow bags like eggplants grow really well in grow bags uh ground cherries grow really well in grow bags tomatoes do pretty well in grow bags oh my gosh it's so windy i feel like maybe i should move my car i'm like kind of under a tree i don't know but anyways tomatoes and eggplants peppers they do okay in grow bags so I think since this is a very temporary garden I think that I might just do um some grow bag raised beds because they have like two by four raised beds that are made of grow bag they're just grow bag material I think I'm going to try it I think it's going to be really interesting to see I'll put in a picture of what it looks like I think it's going to be kind of interesting uh to see so yeah we're going to give it a go I am going to go home and try to rescue the seedlings that are outside in this crazy rain and see what happened with them. <laughs> Hopefully they're okay, but I'm feeling good about the garden plants and I think it's what I needed was just like a really rainy day to just force me to sit down and plan out the garden and now I got the plan and now that I got the plan, I can move forward. So that always feels really good. All right, I'm going to go move the car because I just pulled in and grabbed a coffee and then I parked under this tree and I don't know it's a lot of rain and I don't need the, the, the uh, tree branches falling on the car but we'll check back in in the garden I 
hey there. So it's actually the next day. Um, we didn't end up getting, well, we got quite a bit of rain, uh, obviously coming from Virginia, I'm pretty used to rain. And luckily we didn't get any of the, um, really destructive rain. I know a lot of places, um, this rainstorm really hit hard, uh, but we were pretty much spared. We just had, um, you know, a couple days of rain, but <laughs> as you saw, I don't know what's going on with my seedlings that I just start, decided to start outside. Like... <clears throat> I think that was, um, I don't know, a little bit too much wishful thinking or just bad planning. Um, so I, I don't know, I'm going to let those seedlings stay outside, but as you can see, um, they, they weren't really germinating. So um, I think it's just kind of maybe still too cold. It's still 50s at night, so that that's kind of chilly. Might be too cold um, for the see like the tomatoes and stuff to really germinate well so whatever I'm kind of scrapping that and yesterday while it was pouring down rain I decided to just do some seed starting and just like get a bunch of it done so I'm here in my guest bedroom and look what we've got a bunch a bunch of seedlings so this is 48 seedlings I I, I wanted to start more as what happens when one starts seeds starting but I'm going to cap myself at this because especially if the seedlings that are outside do sprout and do okay. Um, but even if they don't, I'm only going to have the four raised beds and containers. I don't have any in-ground space in this garden. So I do need to limit myself a little bit. I can't just go completely crazy with seed starting, although that is so tempting. Um, but I got everything started. I did it in uh, just paper cups. Paper cups are such an easy, convenient way to start seeds. And what's nice is they just like write what it is on the side and so you don't ever lose your plant tags or anything so now i've got my spray bottle out and i am just trying to really make sure make sure that i don't let any of these dry out because um i think i i kind of neglected my other seedlings <laughs> that's part of the problem so i'm just spraying everything i'm gonna go get my humidity domes i do have some humidity domes that fit on these trays and so um, I'm going to go ahead and put those over it too, just to add a little extra measure, you know, of moisture to this. And then I have my seed rack here and I'm going to grab my grow lights and get all that set up. So I'll show you what that whole system looks like. Uh, my indoor seed starting system is just pretty, pretty bare bones. I like to keep it pretty simple. Um, as I said in my other video, like you can start on a windowsill and I totally could just pop these on a windowsill too, honestly, because we've been getting a lot of good sunlight here, but you know, for the sake, since I have my, my lights and everything for the sake of the seedlings, it's probably best. Grow lights do really add, um, to your seed starting setup if you do one thing um that you like purchase for your seed starting setup sorry that spray bottle is probably really annoying um if you do one thing for your seed starting setup to really like up your game grow lights are it grow lights really make a big difference um so i'm gonna get that set up here so i have these going as far as what i started i restarted a lot of the things that i did in my last um seed starting setup and then I added um, a few more flowers. So let's see, I did, um, I've got some some millet, which isn't technically a flower, but it's like an ornamental. And then I even started like some angelonia that I had, uh, some straw flowers. I started a couple lambs ear. So that'll be kind of interesting to see how those do. And some milk thistle. So some kind of interesting things that hopefully I can find room for and hopefully uh, will work out pretty well. And we'll just kind of see how it goes.
here is the setup with the lights on. So we got the grow lights set up. We've got everything in here. And then, yeah, as I said, I just need to go grab the, um, the humidity dome so that I can keep it, can keep everything the right temperature and nothing dries out. And I'm going to really, you know, keep a good eye on these seedlings because <laughs> as I relearned, every time I do this, I, I relearn um, some things. And as I relearned from the last seeds I started, that, you know, you just, you do have to keep an eye on seedlings. You can't neglect them. You can't leave them. You've got to stay on top of their care. Otherwise, you know, they just don't, they just don't do well. They're not really one of those things that you can set and forget. You do just have to really stay on top of seedlings throughout like the seed starting process. And every time that I try to sort of get around that, it never works out. Now I do want to show you some seedlings that have been super easy to care for um, that I haven't <laughs> had an issue with. And that is in the, um, the so smart I showed garden. you setting up this click and grow smart garden. And as you can see, we've got some things starting to sprout, still waiting on a couple um, of the domes, but I've got some basil and some peppers coming up. And this thing has been super easy to take care of. You just pour the water in here. And as you can see, this um, little tab lets you know when when it needs to be refilled. And the little seedlings are doing beautifully. They look so healthy and green. And this is always how you can tell like a super healthy seedling is when they're nice and green and fresh like that. That means your grow light is bright enough. They're getting what they want. They're not getting stretched out and they're already starting to put on their first sets of, um, of true leaves, which is pretty exciting. I've got to make sure that these guys, this is like some of these are my lettuce, I think. They haven't started yet, but I'm gonna give them a little bit more time. Um, but this has been so fun. And, oh, I gotta show you the tomatoes. I did all tomatoes in my three cell um, system and they are doing great. They look awesome. So that has been fun to see some little tomato so grow. There we go. We've got the humidity domes on um, and looking good. Hopefully we'll get some more seeds. This rainstorm has definitely been a good opportunity to get a lot of garden planning done and to get some seeds restarted to kind of get back in gear as we're moving in to February here. I want to really get like all this underway so that I'm ready when I do get my raised beds and I do get all that set up that like I have the seedlings and everything that are ready to plant. And I feel like, I feel like we're making progress. We're getting there despite all the rain and everything. <laughs> It's happening and I'm going to keep a very close eye on these seedlings. I will give you updates as we go along and talk more about the different varieties that we've got here. Um, but hopefully, hopefully I can stay on top of this setup and actually get some seed starting success going. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Talk to you again soon.